Wings. Skip. Super fun. Fly. March. Paddle. Swim. Dance. Activity works. Today, we're learning how to tell a story. Start walking in place to the beat of the music while swinging your arms as we meet the main character of our story, Peter. Introducing your characters to your audience is an important step in storytelling. A character can enter the story at any time, not just the beginning. Another important step is creating a plot for your story. This is what happens to the characters throughout the story. Keep walking. This story's plot is about Peter trying to find Scooter, his missing yellow-haired puppy, the second character in our story. We're going to help him because that's what friends are for. Keep walking, kids. We're right in front of the magical forest behind Peter's house. That's the setting for our story. Creating a setting is a very important part of storytelling because it makes the audience feel like they are there. Now, we'll follow Peter through the story as the plot progresses. First, to get inside the forest, we have to reach up and pluck eight golden leaves, alternating hands. Ready? Let's go! Right! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Super! Let's continue walking in place to the beat of the music and swinging our arms. Uh-oh, there's a river we have to cross to get to the other side of the woods. <sighs> this part of the story is called conflict. Conflict means that the characters are faced with a problem that needs to be solved. To solve our conflict, we'll swim across the river. To cross the river, let's keep walking in place and do the doggy paddle with our hands. This is the way Scooter swims. Keep swimming. Great job. Let's walk in place while we figure out where we should go next. Look to your left. There's an elf that wants to talk to us. Our story's next character. Reach out your right hand to shake his hand. Go ahead, shake. See this fence next to me? If you want to find Scooter, climb over it using that rope, says the elf. When people talk to each other in a story, it's called dialogue. Let's continue walking. Now we know we have to climb the fence. It's really high. Let's pull ourselves over the fence using the rope, just like the elf told us. While walking in place, stretch your arms over your head and reach for the rope. Now pull yourself up the rope with your hands. Ready? Pull, pull, pull. We're at the top! Now, jump! And we're down on the other side of the fence. Terrific! Keep walking in place. There's a stream in front of us. Whew, I'm thirsty, aren't you? When going on a long adventure, it's very important to drink lots of water and liquids. Let's cup our hands and get some water out of the stream. Now, stand with your feet apart and knees slightly bent. Then bend. Scoop the water with your hands, stand, and bring your hands to your mouth to drink. Do this three times. Ready? Bend, scoop, stand, drink, one. Bend, scoop, stand, drink, two. Bend, scoop, stand, drink, three. Excellent work, kids. Let's start walking again. Don't you feel better now? Now that we're refreshed, let's hop across the rocks in the stream to get to the other side. Jump on one foot, then two feet, just like hopscotch. Ready? Go! One foot, two feet, one foot, two feet, one, two, 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 one, two! Amazing job! Now let's skip in place to the beat of the music. So far, we found our way into the forest, swam across a river, been helped by an elf, climbed over a fence, stopped for some water, and hopped across the rocks in a stream. Keep skipping! All these events together add up to make the plot of our story. Remember, the plot is what happens to characters throughout the story. We've reached an open, beautiful meadow. Now let's walk in place, take a deep breath, and enjoy the open air. Wasn't that fun? Remember to continue walking in place. Look to your right, there's a beautiful red bird sitting in that tree. Another character. She said she can help us find Scooter if we fly up to the top of the tree. Okay, let's put our arms out to the sides and flap them up and down four times. Ready? Let's go! One, two, three, four. Oh, we're so close. Let's flap up and down four more times. Let's go! One, two, three, four. 
We made it! Fantastic! Keep walking, kids. Wow, we're so high up. We should have no problem spotting Scooter from up here. Look to the right. Do you see that yellow fur behind that tree? That must be Scooter. Okay, let's go get him and take him home. Let's climb down the branches. Lift your knees high as we climb down. Here we go. Make sure to hold on tight to the tree. Terrific, we're back on the ground. Start jogging in place to the beat of the music. Did you hear that over there in the bushes? It's a big purple creature with lots and lots of green spiky hair. We better hurry. I hope he doesn't catch up with us. Remember, if you ever feel that the activity we're doing is too hard, feel free to walk very slowly in place or sit down if you really need to. Guess what? The purple green haired monster is the newest character in our story. Keep jogging to that tree just ahead. We can hide there just in case the monster's still after us. And we made it to the tree. Now let's put our arms over our head and jump up and down. Go ahead, kids, start jumping. Because we are in a magical forest, this will get us high in the tree. Keep jumping. This tree is really tall. We're almost hidden. We made it. Good job. He's gone. Let's start walking in place to the beat of the music. Uh-oh, I can hear something growling underneath the tree. I hope it can't reach us. It looks like a yellow-haired monster. No, it's Scooter. This part of the story is called the climax, or the high point, which is the most exciting part of the story. Now we have to use some rope to lasso Scooter so we can take him back to Peter. So keep walking in place and swing your arm in a circle up in the air like you would with a lasso. Let's lasso four times. Okay, go. One, two, three, four. Great. Now throw the rope. Good, we've caught Scooter. Let's walk him back to Peter. Make sure to keep walking. This part of the story is called the resolution, which means it's the end of our story. The plot has come to an end, and we have solved the problems along the way. Peter and Scooter are together again. Our journey is finished, and now we can go back to our classroom.